Okay, so in this problem, we're given three points. Uh, they form an angle BOC, and you have to uh, find a fourth point that you connect to O to make two 45 degree angles. So remember that we talked about in class at some point that if you take a rectangle and you cut it, so you know it's all 90 here, and then you cut it with a diagonal, the question that we asked was, is this angle here the same as that angle there? And so the, we talked about it a little bit, and we decided, well, if it's a square, right, where all the sides are the same, so like a square with sides of two, if we cut it like this, then yes, these are going to be perfectly equal, so they'll both be 45, if it's a square. And then the rectangle one we decided, well, we looked at the extreme example that looks like maybe something like this. And so, <laughs> let me straighten that out. So when you slice this one, it's a little more obvious. That angle's pretty tiny, and that angle's pretty big, so just a rectangle that's not a square, it's not going to work. You're not going to get 45s out of that. It's got to be a square, okay? So when we plot a fourth point over here somewhere, I want to make a square out of it. So maybe I could come down here and come across here, two units each way, and plot a point right there. That would be two zero. And if I connect that, that's basically the same kind of picture we just drew right here. Okay. So we could also do some other points that make 45 degrees. So let's look at some other ones. Like I could just go one down and one over right, and plot that point. That would be 3, 1. That would also work. Uh, you could even go, like if we looked at all of them, they're going to all fall along that line right there. Right? Um, anyway, so that's those are a couple examples. Uh, so let me get rid of this a little bit. So we got a 45 and a 45. The next part says 135 degree angles, right? We need two of those. Well, one thing that we talked about in class was if you've got 45 degrees here, you know from the angle addition postulate that that has to add up to 180, and so this side ends up being 135. Okay, so let me get a red guy going. So that looks a lot like this picture right here. That's this part. And then we just extend the line right here. All right, so this has to be 135. And the way we can figure it out, well, we know what pattern we're using. We're going up one, over one, up one, over one. So might as well do it again. Up one, over one. And that point would be 5, 3. Or you could go up two, over two. And that point would be 6, 4. And those would make the 135 degree angles here. Whoop, sorry. <laughs> Where's the undo? Oh, well, you get the idea. So one of them here, 135, and one of them here, 135. Okay, hope that helps.